introduction of algebra right that is introduction to algebra you know in algebra we have some algebraic expressions algebraic expressions this algebraic expression consists of two parts one is constant and another is literals or we can also say it, say them as variables right so basically there are two parts one is constant which we have highlighted and another is literals or variables right so what are constants and what are variables hope you understand so let me show you the numbers which we are knowing from the very nursery classes and beginning 1 2 3 what is that all these are constant and what are literals literals are the alphabetical denotion alphabetical that means it can be x y z it's a it's a alphabetical nomine it's a alphabetical um, representation of the required answer which we are going to calculate okay suppose uh, we'll take some examples later on let us see it is very interesting topic yep so these are the alphabetical representation of our required value or answer which is which need to be which is to be calculated right so we'll just see how we'll see the details later on first we will just discuss the basic properties what are the basic properties of algebra okay properties of algebra basic properties not properties of algebra but the basic properties followed by the literals so you know literals when they are added for addition and even for multiplication multiplication they follow the law of they are commutative commutative that means they are commutative even for multiplication also are commutative so what is that that means for addition when a plus b will be there then that will come the value will be same for b plus a clearly in multiplication a into b is equal to b into a right this will be followed so they are commutative even for addition and commutative even for multiplication and the second property which we will learn is a associativity what is associativity let me show you they are associative for addition and even for multiplication what is associative that is when sum of two literal a plus b will be added to the third one then it will give rise to and in the rhs and we'll add the latter two first and then added the first one then both of the lhs and rhs will be same 
एच एस इक्वल टू आर एच एस Similarly, for multiplication, when a into b is multiplied by c, and similarly in the right hand side, once we multiply b with c, and that product is multiplied with a, then here also the LHS will be equal to RHS. Values will be same, right? One more property we want to discuss for addition that is when an additive identity you know what is the additive identity additive identity identity is always discussed in our previous channel also zero and multiplicative identity will be one right what is that multiplicative identity multi Creative identity, right? So for this, for this, for additive identity, identity, we can say if a literal is x that is multiplied with sorry that is added with. when that is added with the additive identity then the answer will be same when that is that when it happened in the reverse order right the both the values are always same so we can say that all the literals follow the additive identity okay? for the multiplication similarly when that number is multiplied with 1 and where we do the same operation in the reverse order we will take the multiplicative identity and then multiply with the given literal then the LHS and RHS both are equal right so students any doubt till here or you can just put up into the comment box I will try to explain uh, based upon your doubts but I think uh, on, from the label which I have taken up today, you will have the, will just help you to have the detailed understanding of the basic introduction of algebra. How, what are the X, why we use X, okay, and um, X or Y or Z. So many times, many of our students uh, from very beginning when they, when they came to know about this uh, number X, many are having the having the fear of that what is x oh, why alphabet is coming into mathematics you know they are thinking like that but you know why it's why this x what is this x we are just understanding it okay what is this x x is our answer which we want to find out okay for the high when some student is discussing with the higher class students they are uh, when they are listening though this is assuming this x and following this and x number of boys in the class and y number of girls in the class and accordingly what is this x and y so most of the times many students getting confused when they were first introduction with a first introduction of this x identity x algebraic expression okay so don't worry for that you will have all this concept clear along with me in this class and uh, this will no more will be a fear factor for us right yeah so all this is followed for the the literals follow the addition for the addition follow the commutative property associative and additive identity and similarly for multiplication commutative associative and multiplicative multiplication identity right so we'll take some example examples over here first right What is the next example? Suppose one boy. The question is that a boy walks four steps more than. what he travel or the steps 
taken till now. So we need to write the algebraic expression, right? How the algebraic expression will be written? Algebraic expression be written as the boy is walking four steps more than what he traveled. So what he traveled, you are not knowing what he traveled or what the steps you have taken till now. Okay. Let the number of steps taken till now. Let the number of steps taken till now equal to x. Right. Then we can what after that? Walks four steps more. More, you know, oh, more, more means addition. Here it's plus. What is added? Four, four steps. We are discussing in form of steps. What is this? Steps. Here also steps. So four steps will be added to the number of steps which he, which he has already taken. What number of steps he, the boy has already taken? X. So the final algebraic expression can be written. It can, can be written as. x plus 4 are you getting it or not a boy started from this step support a boy started from this step right so he just uh, actually he started from this time but we are discussing the present status is here present position he had taken X steps prior to that. Okay. Now the question come to us over here. Now after that he took four steps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So what are the total steps? Total steps will be how much? Tell me. From initial, yes. From initial point. From initial point means from here till here what are the total steps it will be x plus 4 i hope you got it right these are the basic steps which we can uh, discuss over here and uh, i hope you are able to understand the basic concept of x what is this x and uh, what is this uh, what this x is putting value in the algebraic expressions it's uh, important we'll take another example suppose uh, 5 less than a literal y the question is that 5 less than literal literal y that means what will the algebraic expression the algebraic expression will be five less you know less what is less less is always minus okay so we can write it the literal y is there hmm. literal y is there so we'll just put it y and then reduce it by 5, 5 less. So y minus 5 is your algebraic x. I hope you got it. Very simple. It's very, very simple. You can just try to understand the questions first. Whenever you understand the questions, the answer is already there in the questions. It's very beauty beauty of this algebraic expression is that all the information which is provided into the question that will help you to derive the algebraic expression so don't worry for all that you will get the answer burst cool with a with a cool mind just read the question you will just get the clue identify the clue put up into your memory just be being a wise student you all can solve it just put it over here to get the algebraic expressions. It's very, very easy exercise, you know. Algebra is very beauty, beautiful. So, we'll take some another question now. Mm, suppose a question is there A less than 4. Right. One question is there. Uh, 
uh, a less than 4 a less than 4 then what will be the algebraic expression tell me students another question is there which will write over here initially uh, beginning or the same questions can be written as like a is diminished diminished by 10 then what will be the algebraic expression tell me students a less than less means what less means minus this less means minus minus and diminished is also called minus so the algebraic expression for the initial question a less than 4 will be a minus 4 got it this is less this minus is representing this minus is representing less what this less and uh, similarly for the second question a is diminished by 10 we can write the algebraic expression as a diminished means reduced minus 10 this is the algebraic expression. i think i think you are getting the intent of the value of literals why the, how the literals are expressed in the algebraic expressions and how we are going to uh, derive the algebraic expressions from the given criteria given condition in the question right so students uh, we will take some another example some more examples because it will help you to understand the question properly Let us take some more example. Uh, the question is that suppose quotient of x and 4, quotient of x, x by 4 added to y. Here you can see you can identify the basic words in the question added that means it will be plus quotient of x by 4 this one x by 4 how you will write it how you will write it x by 4 you will write it x by 4 means x by 4 it is a fraction yep what is the denominator and x is the numerator and x when the number x is divided by 4 you will get the quotient right this x by 4 is the quotient right this is the quotient so when x by 4 will be added added means plus to y y is this so what will be the final algebraic expression x by 4 plus y i hope you got it Yep. It's very interesting chapter, students. So let us understand the. Uh, just take some more examples to have better clarity on this. Uh, we'll just uh, take some more example from this size. A question is there three times x added to eight times y. The question is that. 3 times x added to 8 times y to the question. So, what is the algebraic expression? Algebraic expression will be 3 times x. You know, here identify the words times. Times will be multiply right and added added will be plus right here it's added so it will be plus eight times again times times means multiply so 
first identify those numbers what is that three times three times x what will be that p into x one more important concept i want to share with you uh, students uh, three into x you know this is also looking like x and this is also looking like x so in algebraic expression we put up a remarks or uh, multiplication sign as a dot so we'll put up like this three dot x means you can directly understood understand that dot means multiplication um, operation is happening over here right fine three times x and eight times y eight times y that means eight into y okay so it will be eight y okay and the algebraic expression will be this will be add over here this will also come over here so it will be three x plus eight y and this is our answer i hope you are getting the concept of this so fine students we'll take another example suppose the another example is that suppose sweta scores 100 marks in mathematics oh my god 100 marks full marks the good student so i am writing the questions initially sweta got 100 marks in math i can guarantee you can also score 100 marks out of 100 yeah just put your dedication follow the channel just understand the concept for any queries come to me i will help you out De definitely there is no day that you there is no chance that you can achieve 100 okay you can get it it's achievable a human being is also is always achieving okay. yep all the best sweta got 100 marks in maths and x marks in and and apart from this and getting x marks in science so what will be the algebraic expression you can understand algebraic expression how you can write 100 marks means marks of math 100 and that will be added with what marks of science marks of science what is that what is that yes marks of 100 you know One zero and zero. Then that will be added to marks of science. What is that? And here x that will be added over here. So what will be the algebraic expression? The algebraic expression will be hundred plus x, where hundred is a where hundred is a Yeah, tell me, students. Constant, yes. Which we already learnt initially, and x is the literal, or we can say it variable also. Fine. So I think uh, we are even done with the multiple questions. So let us do some more to so have a better clarity of those. The diameter of a circle is twice its radius. The diameter of a circle is twice its radius so you know the statement just uh, learn the statement the diameter of a circle what this diameter of the circle that is whatever it is it's twice its radius is directly showing a remarks and indication towards the radius how it's related to radius okay so we will just initiate like this okay let me show you let the radius of circle 
equal to x fine now diameter equal to twice to radius but again same kind of remarks so we, we can write it as 2 dot x this is the algebraic expressions are you able to got it point uh, get it point uh, get it students thank you this is your answer we'll take some more example for better understanding there is a very good question which i want to discuss with all of you okay let me show you this is a very very good question which i want to share with all what is that Shyam Shyam spends rupees a daily right and saves rupees b per week per week you can understand here it's a daily and it's on weekly basis right what is the income for two weeks what is sam's income for two weeks the question here two parties there one is earning and one is expenses here you can understand its expenses and here its saving so rupees b per week means there are two weeks you can write it first write over it the spending of sham for two weeks will be how much tell me since number of days in a week how much no one understand oh everyone understands oh thank you <laughs> yeah seven yeah number of days in a week is seven i think uh, we learnt it into the kg classes yep so for two weeks here is two week what is two week for two week how many days are there number of days in a week seven so we can say number of days in two week equal to 7 into 2 equal to 14 days right we are speaking in terms of days for two weeks it will be 14 so pending of siam for two weeks what will be that what will be that that will take over here two weeks means rupees a daily into 14 equal to 14 a will be the amount which he spends and write it over here in a is spending right what is saving what is his saving just come to that savings of sham equal to rupees b per week right b per week therefore in two weeks 
श्याम सेव टू इन टू बी दैट मीन रूप इज टू बी राइट गॉट इट टू बी सेविंग so now we come to the conclusion what will the algebraic expression so the algebraic expression will be our answer that is shams income for two week what will be that that will be equal to sham spending plus what sham's saving are you getting it or not let me explain it properly okay the total earning power okay income you know income is the total money which we take with us after doing some work or doing some uh, as a wages okay that income will cater the spending and saving all this come from which spending come from income from income spending is there and from income saving is also there so from the above question we can write we can write what is that the shams spending what is that shams spending is that uh, spending is 14 a here 14 a So we'll write it 14a plus saving. Saving will be 2b here. So the algebraic expression will be 14a plus 2b, which is the total saving of total sorry income of Sham, where a and b are the literals. In the form of literals, we derive the algebraic expression. So thank you, students. from this point uh, i want to wind up for today class so let's put up into the comment box for any kind of doubts or uh, any queries which you have which comes into your mind in your mind when during the solving the questions we'll discuss and i will try to get the give the response as soon as possible and thank you so much for watching the channel and subscribing um thanks happy learning bye bye